Amen. Come on, let's give God praise, give God glory, give God honor on this blessed Sunday morning. He's worthy to be praised, worthy to be lifted up, worthy to be magnified. God is doing great and awesome things. It's another day's journey, and we ought to be glad about it. Amen. That God woke us up again, amen, on another day's journey and brought us to the house of worship once more and again. To God be the glory for the things that he has done and the things that he continues to do. What an awesome God that we serve. He get all the praise, he get all the glory, and he get all the honor. Amen. We welcome you to the Greater Mount Carey Missionary Baptist Church located 3835 Whitewater Road right here in the city of Valdosta, Georgia. At this time, I'm going to ask uh, Minister Cephas to come and lead us in our opening prayer. morning Mount Calvary let's give God some praise up in here today let's give him praise we give him praise we give him glory we give him honor we thank him today father God we come to you this morning thanking you for yet another day that you have allowed us Lord God we thank you for the lying down last night Lord God and we thank you for the early rising this morning father God oh father you've been so good to us you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves Lord God, we thank you for your glory. We thank you for your guidance. We thank you for your greatness, Lord God. Oh, Father, we thank you for allowing each and every one of us to come out to hear the word, Lord God, today. Father God, we thank you for the pastor, Lord God. We thank you for Pastor Vincent who's coming to give us the word. We thank you for all those, Lord God, who are in the church. We thank you for all those who are online. Lord God, we are just so thankful and grateful to you, Lord God. If we had a thousand tongues, we couldn't praise you enough, Lord God. Father God, we ask that you comfort all those who are sick, Lord God. All those who are looking to you, Lord God, because only you can set us free. We thank you. We ask that you cover all those who are sick, afflicted, and those who are bereaved, Lord God. We ask that you continue to cover us, Lord God, each and every day, Lord God. We just give you glory, honor, and praise in here, Lord God. We thank you. We honor you. We bless your name today, Lord God. And we'll be ever so careful to give you the praise, honor, and glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Don't stop praising him. Because these are the last days. So keep on praising him. For God is a good God. And we don't know what tomorrow might bring, but he holds the future in his hand. How many know it's these last days? What about you this morning? What about you this morning? What about you this morning? In these last days, there's a man you're going to need to know. You're going to have to answer to him, for the Bible tells me so. When this race is run, and it's all said and done, on that day you got to meet that man. But I pray you know it, son. I'm glad I know it. Oh, I know it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I know it. What about you? In these last days, there's a man you're gonna need to know. You're gonna have to answer to him, for the Bible tells me so. When this race is run and it's all said and done, on that day you gotta meet that man. But I pray you know his son. I'm glad I know him. I'm glad I know him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I know him. What about you? What about you? Anybody? 
know it. Yeah. What about you? You know it. What about you? Do you know it? Yeah. What about you? Anybody? What about you? Do you know it? Yeah. What about you? I'm glad I know it. I'm glad I know it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yes, I know it. Let me see you wave your hand out. If you know that you know him, you ought to wave your hand. What about, 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 oh yes I know him, oh yeah, oh yes I know him. Calvary, what about you? Do you know that you know him? Do you know that you know him? Did he wake you up this morning? Were you able to get out of your bed? You ought to wave your hand and tell God thank you. You ought to tell God thank you. You ought to tell God thank you. Hallelujah. We give honor to God this morning, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to our pastor, Dr. Charles Vincent, our first lady, Sister Vincent, and all of the associate ministers and their spouses, to our deacon, deaconess, and to everybody in their respective places. We say welcome to our in-person service this morning at the Calvary. Our announcements. We are excited to announce that on today, on today, we are starting our youth uh, Sunday school for our pre-K, Calvin's Children's Church, pre-K to fifth grade, and middle to high school grades. We are so happy. God has been working with us and working with us, and he's slowly bringing us back everything that the devil thought that he had took away. All I can say is hallelujah and praise the Lord because that's what God will do. When you are faithful to God, God will be faithful to you. Coming soon and back by popular demand, the Mount Calvary Mail Choir will resume singing the praises of the Lord every third Sunday starting next Sunday. And if you're interested in singing with the men, you need to contact Deacon Roy Hart or Sister Shaquanta Hogan directly for more information. And on Sunday, August the 21st, 2022, the Magnolia Missionary Baptist Church Pastor and Wife's Anniversary Celebration at 10 a.m. located at 409 West Main Street in Hayhara, Georgia. Pastor Vincent is the guest speaker. On Thursday, August the 25th, 2022 at 7 p.m., you are invited to come out to fellowship, participate, and support 
the pre-recording service for the Spotlight Wednesday Night Live service for August, hosted by the deacons, deaconesses, the armor bearers, and Sunday school ministries to be aired on Wednesday, August the 31st, 2022. Well, we're always looking at ways to acknowledge the people that God has blessed here at Calvary. And God has made a special blessing on one of our security ministry men. I don't know if Brother Gary Turner's in the, in the building, but he's probably outside. I know that Sister Deborah's in the building. So Sister Deborah, why don't you stand and then everybody see you. You all, it was the, um, the annual, eighth annual APWA Georgia chapter award ceremony. And that's for public works for the whole state of Georgia. You all ought to stand and give a hand to Brother Gary Turner, for he was the employee for the whole state of Georgia. That's awesome. And I know he's outside on his job, but somebody just tell Gary that we honor him today. We honor him today. For so I say, when you are faithful to God, God will be faithful to you, and he will let people know that you have been blessed. Now, we also want to say that we're excited about what's coming in the month of September. And I say we are truly excited because for 13 years, we have two people who have labored here in the word and with us who have been a blessing to us. And that's none other than our pastor, Dr. Charles E. Vincent Sr and our First Lady, Lady Evelyn Diane Vinson. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're going to be celebrating their 13 years on Sunday, September, the, I think that's the 25th, that's the fourth Sunday in September at our 8 a.m. service. And we want to express our love and appreciation to them because they have been faithful, and we want to be faithful to them. God has blessed us with an amazing and awesome pastor and wife. And we just want y'all to know that we thank God and we thank y'all for staying here. I ain't gonna say every day being easy for pastor because I think I probably gave him a little bit of trouble too. But all he did was pray on me. And that's what you do. Just pray on me. And God will straighten it out. So we're asking each member for a love offering of $40 or more for our pastor and our first lady. Now there are special envelopes uh, back there and you can put it in there and Put your name on it and make your checks payable to Dr. Charles Benson East Sr. And you can give it on Givelify. We do have that. There's a tab out there on Givelify for you who are listening online. You can donate. You've been getting some of this worship with us online. Just drop something in Givelify. Or you can go to www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org um, forward slash giving. And you can do that as well. We just want our pastor and our first lady to know that we truly, truly appreciate you. We love you. You're behind the scenes. People don't ever know what you're doing, but God does. You are there for everybody, not just here at Calvary, but you're there for everybody, and we really love you. So with that said, as I always say, God has perfect timing, never early, never late. It takes a little patience and a whole lot of faith, but it's always worth the wait.
Come on and worship him in the spirit. That's what we're going to do. We're going to worship him in the spirit and in the truth. That he would get the praise. That he would get the glory. That he would get the honor. We come to worship him in the spirit. We come to lift him up. We come to magnify his name. We come to exalt his name. Oh, he's worthy to be praised. Yes, sir, he's worthy to be praised. Praise him, praise him. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to worship him in the spirit. And we're going to worship him in the truth. That's what we're going to do. Glory be to God. We give him the praise. And all we give him the glory. We give him the praise and we give him the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. God get the praise. God get the glory. And God get the honor. He's worthy to be praised. At this time, we ask that all our youth, all our youth pre-K to fifth grade, middle school to high school, will exit to our classrooms and to our cafeterias. Amen. All of our uh, youth will exit. Amen. Pre-K through fifth grade, middle school through high school will exit to Children's Church at this time. Amen. To God be the glory, to God be the praise, to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We honor him on today. Amen. To our ministers of the gospel, Minister McDougall, Minister Sheraton in her absence, and Minister Holmes in his, her, his absence. Amen. Minister McCargo and Minister Cephas. Amen. To their spouses, to my lovely spouse, Lady Evelyn Diane Vincent. Amen. Celebrating another birthday on this week, last Friday. Amen. 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 55 look good on you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Keep speeding down the road, baby. Amen. Take me for a ride. Amen. Amen. I of uh, Amen. Uh, Dickens, Dickens, his brother, saints, and friend, all of you in your special place. We're just glad to have you here at my Carrie. Good to see Deacon and Sister Baynard. Amen. 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 We're glad to have them with us on this morning. Amen. Deacon Cook's uh, brother and sister-in-law. Amen. Brother and Sister Clark from Cordell, Georgia with us on today. Amen. We're just glad to have all of you here. Amen. Worship with us here this morning at Carrie. Out of Joshua, the first chapter, verse number one through verse number three. Amen. For our reading. Amen. Joshua, the first chapter, verse one through verse three. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that he spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, and the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel, every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses." Father God, we thank you. God, we give you praise. God, we give you glory. We give you honor on this blessed Sunday morning. Thank you for another chance, another opportunity to come back to your house of worship, to worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you, God, for waking us up this morning on due time and blood yet running warm in our veins. Thank you, God. We just give you praise for that, God. Thank you that we had the activities of our limbs right now, God. Thank you that we were clothed in our right mind. Thank you, Jesus, that you've been good to us all week long and brought us to this present time. You let our golden moment roll on, God. And for that, we say thank you this morning. And we thank you that we had a mind to worship. Thank you that we have a place to come and worship. Thank you for the place called Mount Calvary on this morning. And God, we just thank you for these that are gathered in your name in person and those that were gathered in virtual land. We just thank you for all of them, oh God. We pray now, Lord, that our coming will not be in vain. 
But God, you give us a word this very hour, this very moment that we stand in the need of, that we don't get any praise, that we don't get any glory, but all the praise and all the glory belongs unto you, Father. God, give me preaching and teaching power in the name of Jesus. Keep me near the cross, and we give your name the praise, and we give your name the glory, and we give your name the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen and amen. Amen. This time, we do not own the right copyrights to this song, music, or video presented during this service and sermon. All songs, music, and our videos are used for the worship and sermon illustration purposes only. Amen. So we are preparing our, amen, audio team is preparing for our uh, little short video on this one. We want to make sure we put that disclaimer out there that we don't own the copyrights to the song or the music or the videos presented during this service and, and the sermon. And all songs, music, and other videos are used for the worship and sermon illustration purposes only. Thank you. Amen. Amen. So I want to talk with you, amen, on this morning from the subject, stop making announcements and start making moves. Amen. Start making, start making announcements and start making moves. Amen. A, a couple of uh, weeks uh, so early in the summertime, someone shared with me uh, out of their life experience, amen, and they said to me, amen, they, the uncle had talked with them and said to them, stop making announcements and start making moves. And they said their statement stuck with them. And so they said they moved and they got, and now they got an announcement. Y'all don't hear me, amen. They said they moved and now they got an announcement. I come by to help somebody this morning stop making announcements and start making moves. Yeah, stop making announcements and start making moves. Amen. It's important that we look at our text this morning out of Joshua, the first chapter, verses 1 through 3. It lets us know that during this time, the children of Israel was wandering around in the wilderness. But the Lord said, now listen, my servant, amen, Moses is gone on. And it's time for you all to stop wandering around the wilderness. Amen. Somebody need to hear that this morning. Stop wandering around the wilderness. And now it's time to arise up and what? Go. Amen. Rise up and go. And now, therefore, rise up and go over what this Jordan. And then the Lord promised them that every place that, amen, the sole of their feet was to tread upon that he would give it unto them. I come to let somebody know this morning, amen, stay away from still, folks. Amen. I say stay away from still, folks. Amen. Amen. They still broke. They still barring. They still complaining. About their situation, they still hating. They still running after the same man or woman. Amen. You've been dating them for six or seven years. He ain't married you yet. She ain't married you yet. Amen. What you still hanging around? Still. Amen. Still insecure. Still childish. Still lying. Still cheating. Still stuck on stupid. Y'all don't hear me this morning. Still going. Still going to change. Amen. They still going to change. They still and always will be a headache. But I come to tell you, stop hanging around still people. 
Yeah, amen. Stop, amen, amen. Make an announcement and start moving. Amen. Making moves, amen. When it's, it's sent by God, when it's sent by God, it will come with confirmation. I say when it's sent by God, it'll come with confirmation. Amen. When, it's, when it isn't sent by God, it will come with hesitation, frustration, and confusion. But I come to tell you, when it's God, it flows. And when it's you, it's force. Amen. I say when it's God, it flows. But when it's you, it is force. Yeah, the steps, the steps. The Bible let us know in Psalms 37, amen, 23 through 25. Say the steps, amen. In other words, the moves of a good man are ordered by what? The Lord. And he will it delighted in his what way. Amen. You got to move. Amen. Yeah. Though he fall. Yeah. Though he fall, he shall utterly not be cast down. Amen. He shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholded him with his hand. It didn't say that. Amen. When you move, it didn't say you weren't going to make no mistakes. It didn't say that you weren't going to fall. But it said if you fall, the Lord will uphold you with his hand. Amen. I'd rather be in the hand of God than in the hand of any man on this earth. When I'm in the hand of God, I know that every Everything going to be all right. Yeah, yeah, I, I come to tell you why. Because David said, I've been young and now I'm what old. I've been through some things. Anybody been through some things? Amen. Been through some ups and some downs. But yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Y'all don't hear me. I come to tell you, I haven't seen it in my life. God, people not only going to survive, but they going to thrive. I say, God, people not only just going to survive, but they going to thrive. Yeah, the text, I didn't come to preach to you long this morning. Amen. But I just come by to put it in your spirit and to put it in your mind. To stop making announcements and start making moves. Hey, I said, stop making announcements and start making moves. Somebody say, well, Pastor, what you talking about? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Some of y'all been talking about, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Amen. And ain't move yet. Amen. Amen. I'm on, 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 I'm on. That's all you saying amen you got you got a you speaking in armor tongues amen but i come to tell you it's time to start making moves if you amen you can sit at a green light deacon neil all day long amen let it be green let it turn back yellow let it turn back red but until you press the accelerating pedal ain't nothing gonna happen amen until you get off the brakes y'all ain't caught me yet amen i said till you get off the brakes ain't nothing going gonna happen but i come to tell you if you just press the gas amen if you just take your foot off the brake the car start moving by itself. Amen. You ain't really got to press the gas. Or so, amen. It's got enough acceleration in it that it'll start rolling by itself. And I come to help somebody this morning. You've been saving. You've been in that same position of announcing this and of announcing that, but you ain't made a move. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. That's what you're talking about. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. That's all you're going to say. I'm a. But God tired of hearing that I'm a, and you need to get on out there and make a move. Amen. You're sitting there waiting on somebody to give you the okay. Hey, hey, everybody ain't going to give you the okay. Everybody ain't going to give you the nod. Everybody ain't going to support you. Everybody don't believe in your dreams. Everybody don't believe in your hopes. Everybody don't want to ride with you. Everybody, everybody don't want to see you go nowhere. But I come to tell you, stop making announcements and start making moves. Yeah. Let me get out of here this morning. I want to I wanna use her example of my Sandy out of St. John, the fifth chapter. In verse number 1 through 10, I'm going to go through this quick now. So you've got to stay with me. Don't go to sleep on me. Wake up. So don't go to sleep. Amen. Amen. Wake up. Amen. Uh, amen. I know you're earlier in the morning, but get, get that sleep off of you. Shake it off and make the devil take it back. Amen. But St. John, the fifth chapter, verses 1 through 10, it talks about, and now that there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Yeah. In other words, I want to part right there, Sister Neil, and say stay close proximity <laughs> to where Jesus at. Stay close where Jesus at. And that's where things can happen for you. See, you over here fooling with other folks, but you need to stay close where Jesus is at. See, amen, you need to be in the area where Jesus said, Lord, amen, if, if God is blessing Sister Bergman, amen, and she live in my neighborhood, I'm close enough where, amen, he can, amen, move in my area. I can get, amen, some of her blessing, amen, it can flow my way. I just need to stay in the area. He, he ain't actually got to stop by my, I just get in the area for the body. When Jesus' presence came in, the whole people felt the presence of God. And see, I come to tell you, sometimes just be in the area. You ain't, you ain't got to, amen, be in the right spot, just be in the area, be in close proximity where God is moving, where God is blessing, where God want to turn some things around just show up at the right place uh, and at the right time and let God do what he do yeah it says now therefore in at Jerusalem by the sheep market was a pool uh, brother McCarga which is called in the Hebrews tongue Bathsheba 
having five porches. Can I help you all this morning? In other words, know your position and know your place in God's will and your vision and his destiny in your life. Don't let nobody move you off the porch. Hey, I said don't let nobody move you off the porch where God has placed you. See, God, when you sit on the porch, y'all, 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 y'all ain't caught it yet. When you sit on the porch, when you, you think about your own house, when you sit on the porch, you can see what's going on. Yeah, you can see what's, what's, what's coming and what's going, amen. You can see what's happening. See, sometimes, amen, sometimes in the old neighborhood, see, we, we, we don't got off of that. We, we don't got these houses now that just got a little, a little spot. You ain't even got no room to even put a chair out there. Just got a little spot. But you remember way back in the day where grandmama had that porch? That went all the way around the house. Y- y'all ain't called that yet. <laughs> yeah, and she can see what was going on. She can see what for the left, to the right, the front, and all around. She can see, check things out. See, you need to stay on the porch. Keep an eye on what God got for you. See, some of y'all sitting there, amen, sitting around, amen, and ain't watching, amen, ain't looking. You say, watch and what pray, amen. You got to be able to see what's going on on the porch. See what God going to do for you. See, watch what God going to get ready to do in your life. But you got to stay on the porch. Don't let nobody move you off your porch. But stay there. Until you hear from glory. Stay there till God move for you. And the text says, Sister uh, Princess Brown said, and these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, who are blind and halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. I come to help somebody this morning and tell you that you are not alone. There's some people just like you. There's some folks dealing with the same issue you're dealing with, struggling with, and fighting through. And we are either in something, coming out of something, are getting ready to go into something. I need to say that again. Because somebody know that's real this morning. We're either in something. Coming out of something. Are getting ready to go into something. And if you're not in anything right now. You better give God the praise. And give God the glory. Because something going to come your way. But none of us. None of us this morning. Sister Harold are exempt from anything. Amen. None of us. I don't care if you're the preacher. You go through hell too. Amen. I don't care if you're in the choir, you don't always hit the right tune. I don't care if you're a deacon, you ain't always saying the right prayer. I don't care if you're an usher, you ain't always leading in the right way because we all go through something one way or another. We all in the stuff. The devil don't care what he going to try to attack him and keep him from getting what God got for you. But you got to stop announcing and start making moves. Yeah. For it says the angel of the Lord went down. At a certain season in the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the trouble on the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Yeah, it said, This is your certain season. <laughs> that what the text said, a certain season. I come to hear somebody this morning tell you that this is your certain season. Yeah, I didn't say, Hey, hey man, I didn't say it was winter, I didn't say it was spring. I didn't say it was fall. I didn't say any of that, but I said this is your certain season because we all got our own season. See, you can't have my season, and I can't have your season, but it was a certain season. He may not come when you want him, <laughs> but oh, he's always on time. Can I get a witness? Somebody say he's an on-time God. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, God has our season. In his hand. And this I come to tell you this morning. This is your season. This is your time. This is your breakthrough. This is your turnaround point. This is your day. And mark it on your calendar. Get your calendar mark. Mark it on your calendar. Somebody ought to holler my season. My season. My season. Y'all ain't ready for that. Y'all ain't ready for your season. Eh? Amen. You believe God that this your season. This your time. This your certain season. You ought to holler back at your boy and say my season. My season. My, my season. Excuse me neighbor but, but this is my season. Eh? Amen. I've been going through some things. I've been dealing with some things. I've been struggling through some things. But this is my season. I, I know you don't know nothing about it. I know you don't know nothing about what I've been going through. I know you don't know what I've been struggling with. But God said, this is my season. This is my time. This is my year. This is my day. This is my breakthrough. Here I come. My season. My season. My season. I feel that in my spirit. My season. 
I don't know about you, my season, my season. I, I ain't talking about nobody else. Excuse me, neighbor, I ain't talking about you. Excuse me, brother, I ain't talking about you. Excuse me, sister, I ain't talking about you. I ain't talking about you in the back. I ain't talking about you on the left or the right. I'm talking about this is my, my season. This is a my thing, honey, because I know what I need the Lord to do for me. I don't know what you need the Lord to do for you, but I know what I need the Lord to do with me. So I say, this is my season. I'm prophesying to myself. I don't know about you, but I say, the Bible said there's power in life in the tongue, and I'm going to prophesy to myself, my season. My season, my season to come out of day, my season to be healed, my season to be delivered, my season for a breakthrough, my season for God to bless me abundantly above and exceedingly above all I can ask or think. This is my, 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 my season. Woo. Glory be to God. Hey, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hey, glory be to God. My season, my season, my season. Stop making announcements. Stop making moves. And a certain man, here I go again, certain man. It says, in a certain man, I'm getting out of here. Uh, Deacon Uncle, I'm getting out of here this morning. I'm going to leave y'all. I'm going to drop it like it's hot and leave y'all. Yeah. And a certain man was there. Woo. A certain man was there. <laughs> Y'all ain't got that yet. <laughs> I just want to be there. <laughs> uh, I just want to be there. You ain't got to call my name. I just want to be there. Just let me be in the number. It said a certain man which had an infirmity for 30 in eight years. Woo, that's a long time. I know you've been waiting a long time. And it seems like nothing is ever going to happen. But I'm reminded of the word of God this morning, Brother Clark, that but they that wait upon the Lord. Yeah. Ooh, that's all I need to remember, that but they that wait upon the Lord. That's all I need to know, but they that wait upon the Lord. He shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk in, not faint. But I come by to help somebody this morning. I don't care how long you've been in it. But just wait on the Lord. Like David said, I wait on the Lord. I say, wait on the Lord. And I heard somebody say, just wait on him. He'll come and see about you. And the choir said a song before, amen. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. Anybody feel that way this morning? I don't mind waiting on the Lord. Because I know if I wait on him, he will come see about me. I know if I wait on him, he'll come to my rescue. Uh, I know if I wait on him, I know I waited on him a long time ago, and I, I trust him again, and if I wait on him, uh, he will show up at the right place, uh, and at the right time, I just wait on the Lord, uh, and he will come to my rescue. Uh, but they that wait on the Lord, uh, I say, but they that wait on the Lord. Uh, I got the park right there just a minute this morning. Uh, is there anybody waiting on the Lord? Uh, has anybody ever waited on the Lord? Uh, did he come to your rescue? Uh, anybody ever waited on the Lord? Uh, did he come? see about you. Anybody ever waited on the Lord? Did he show up for you? Anybody ever waited on the Lord? Did he turn it around for you? If anybody ever waited on the Lord? Did he dry the tears from your eyes? Anybody ever waited on the Lord? Did he do it for you? Won't he do it? Can he do it? Shall he do it? Wait on him. 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 In the midnight hour. Wait on him. With tears in your eyes. Wait on him when everybody says it ain't gonna happen, but just wait on him, wait on him, wait on him, wait on him. Y'all, 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 y'all. I'm trying to finish this. I'm trying to finish this. I'm trying to finish this. But when Jesus, when Jesus saw him when Jesus saw him when Jesus saw you Woo. hey glory to God good God of mine it said when Jesus saw him he knew that he had been now a long time in that case and he said to them will thou be made whole I come by to help somebody this morning that God sees you. <laughs> Sister West, God sees you. He knows your name. <laughs> he knows your situation. 
He knows where you're at in your life. He knows your pain. He knows your hurts. He knows how long it's been. He, do, you re, do we need to really know how who we are and have a conversation with God? See, but the question is, do you want to, these things to change? Do, Jesus said, will thou be what? Made whole. Do you want things to move? Do you want, amen, deliverance? Do you want a breakthrough? Do you want God to turn it around? Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you want God to do something for you? Do you want God to do it for you? I don't know about you, but I want God to do it. Just fix it, Jesus, like you said you would. Just do it, Lord. 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 Woo, hallelujah. Glory to God. When Jesus saw him lie there, I'm so glad that God know where you're at. God know how long you've been there. God know how long you've been suffering. But say, one thing he asks you, do you want to be healed? Do you want to break through? Do you want to move? Yeah. To move into this next season, you must control your mouth. I need to help somebody this morning. To move into the next season, you got to control your mouth. Your mood, your mind, and your money. Yeah, y'all will catch that down the road. Let me get out of here, Sister Crawford, because, hey, amen, they're looking at me funny, but, hey, amen, the impotent man answered him. The, the impotent man answered him. In other words, he could talk. He might have couldn't walk, but he could talk. The impotent man answered him and said, Sir, I have no man, but in the world is trouble to put me in the pool. But while I'm coming, another step it down before me. In other words, he made an announcement. He made an announcement. He didn't make a move. I ain't got nobody to help me. I ain't got nobody to put me in. But stop and make, stop making announcements. I'm, I'm, I'm this and I'm that. Amen. Stop making excuses. Stop blaming other folks. Stop worrying and focus on about what's going on with other folks. It's me, oh Lord. It's me, oh Lord. See, do, do, do the man really recognize who he's talking to? <laughs> he could talk, but he, could, he couldn't walk, but do he recognize who he's talking to? Instead of him making excuses saying, well, I ain't got nobody to put me in there when I need to get in there. When the water so I ain't got nobody to help me. But listen, do he really know who he's talking to? Do you really know who you're talking to? Do you really know who God is? Do you know really who Jesus is? Do you know the power that he got? Do you know that he can speak life and life will move? Do you know that he can say go and things will happen? Do you know who you're talking to? When God says something, it happened. When God said let there be, it was. Do you know who you're talking to? Woo. Do you know who you're dealing with? Hey, do you know who you're really dealing with? If you know who you're dealing with, if you know the God that I serve, he said all you got to do is ask. And then he says all you got to do is think. Sometimes you ain't got to ask. Just think on it and God will come to your rescue. Woo, do you know, do you know who you're talking to? Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. And understand this, my brothers and sisters, until it's your turn. Keep clapping for other folks. Until it's your turn. Keep clapping for other folks. In other words, God bless Sister Baynard and God bless Sister Baynard. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for Sister Baynard getting a blessing. Thank you that you move for her. Thank you that you worked it out for her. Because God, if you got her out the way, I'm next in line. I'm on the way. I'm getting mine next. I'm, I'm next for a miracle. My breakthrough is coming. I'm happy for you. Y'all gotta learn. Y'all gotta learn that secret to start celebrating other folks' blessing. Yes, sir. I celebrate other folks' blessing. Amen. I, when I go, amen. I go to people's house and I pray for their house blessing. I don't. I don't get ugly and get mad because the Lord done blessed with a new house. And I get that. Get excited. I get happy because I like to see new things. I like to see people blessed. I like to see people doing great things. I like to see people moving. I like to see people. Amen. God moving from one thing to another thing, and God is blessing them. I, I don't get mad because you pull up in the parking lot with a brand new car, baby. Let me ride too with you. Amen. I want to ride too. Amen. Because I'm glad what God done for you. How God bless you. Amen. I'm glad when I hear. 
mean you got a promotion because that means you're going to be blessed. You might buy me lunch soon. I don't know, but I'm glad for you. I'm clapping for you. Let me get out of here. Jesus said unto him, Jesus said unto him, rise, take up thy bed, and walk. In other words, Jesus said, he didn't, the man said, anybody help me get in here? Anybody help me? Anybody help me? But listen, Jesus said, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> he said, ain't nobody got time for that. Jesus didn't have no, you, in the text, Jesus didn't have no conversation with the man. He didn't go back and forth with the man. He just said, take up your bed, rise, take up that bed, and walk. Hey, Amen. Don't, don't, don't nobody want to hear about your pro problems. Nobody really don't want to hear about your troubles. Hey, Amen. Stop announcing your problems to everybody because they ain't concerned about it. Hey, Amen. They ain't going to do nothing for you. They ain't going to help you along the way. They're they going to tell your business, then you get mad with them because they're telling your business. You better hush up and stop announcing your problems. Because we all got the same struggles. We all got the same ups and downs. Jesus didn't get in a long conversation with the man. He just gave him instructions. And gave him the word that changed his life. The same thing God has given you today. Is to get up. Take up your bed. And walk. He ain't got time for all that. Jibber jabber. Amen. Sister I'm sorry. I know that in the dictionary. But that jibber jabber. He ain't got time for all that. He just said, make a move. Make a move. And the Bible says, and immediately, the man was made whole. It didn't say the next day, the next hour. It said, immediately, the man was made whole. And then he took up his bed. Man that was laying there for 38 years. Just went up, got up and took up his bed. And walked away from the pool. On that same day, it was the Sabbath. He made a move. He, he obeyed. He believed. He walked by faith. He took up, took Jesus at his word. He, he forgot about his past and walked into his future. He changed his whole life. He just believed that, amen, Jesus was the right one. And said, take up your bed, brother, and walk. And he got up. And it, it was just that simple. He got up. And he walked. And that was the end of the story. But then again, he looked and he looked, he took action instead of reacting to his situation. He took action. He'd been there 38 years, but that day he cha it changed for him. That day it was that certain season whoo, that changed for him. And as I close, the Jews therefore said unto him that he that was cured, the man that was healed. He said, Man, this is Sabbath day. It is unlawful, it's not lawful without a carrot. Your bed. Can I help you right here, sister? Amen. Sister Edna, can I help you here? There's always some haters. Always some haters in the crowd. They want you, they want you to keep making announcements and not making moves. But be like this man. I'm not concerned about what day it is. <laughs> All I know that the move, the move I made activated my miracle. <laughs> Woo! The move I made activated my miracle. So they were concerned about him carrying the bed on the Sabbath day. But the man, they went, who told you? He said, the man that healed me told me, amen, to get up and take up my bed. And the man that made a way for me to do this, amen, don't give, don't, amen, you ain't got to give no excuses to nobody what God is doing for you in your life. You just make the move, amen. Don't worry about them, man, explaining it to them, amen. It ain't for their explanation. They don't, it ain't for you to explain to them what God is going to do for you. You just make the move and let God do the rest. Uh, just step out on faith because, amen, they're going to question you. They're going to say this, that, and other. Gonna hate on you, but that's all right. As long as I'm making a move, I ain't making no more announcements. Uh, but I'm making moves, baby. Hey. I'm making moves uh, and learn to bloom where you planted. Hey, I said, learn to bloom where you planted. Hey. hey, man, don't worry about where you at, but learn to learn how to grow where you at. Learn how to be prosperous where you at. Learn how to be happy where you at. Learn how to give God praise where you at. Learn how to give God glory where you at. Learn how to magnify the Lord where you at. God is about to wow you. Huh? I said, God is about to wow you. Huh? He's gonna 
going to, amen, give you something above and beyond what you ask for. The Lord knows what you've been praying for. He has the answer. It's going to be doing more than just that. He's going to give you a blessing. So I stopped by to tell you this morning, pack your bags. You're on the move to a place called Breakthrough. Pack your bags. You're on a place called Exceedingly Abundantly Above and All. You can thank or ask. Pack your bag. You're going to a place of plenty, prosperity, and overflow. Pack your bag. You're going to a place called a conqueror and an overcomer. Pack your bags. You're going to a place called healing and restoration. Do anybody want to go to that place? Do anybody want to move? Do anybody want to move out of where you're at? Do you want to move to where God want to take you? Do you want to move to what God want to do for you? Do you want to move to what God got a blessing with your name on it? God got something that he want to do for you. Are you ready to move? Are you ready to move to a new place, a higher place, a greater place, a profound place, a glorious place? You've been stuck in the valley too long, but it's time to move to the mountaintop. It's time to go higher in the Lord. It's time for God to do it for you. Say it to yourself. I'm on the move. I got to move it. Move it, move it. I got to move it. Move it, move it. You might not like it, but I'm moving. You might not appreciate it, but I'm moving. You might not pat me on my back, but I'm moving. You might talk about me, but I'm moving. You might scandalize my name, but I'm moving. I got to move it. Move it. It, huh, to a better place huh. I got to move it huh, to better vision huh. I got to move huh, to a better destiny huh. I got to move huh, on up there huh. God huh, God huh, I thank you huh, for my next move huh. I thank you huh, for what you're gonna do huh. I thank you huh, how you're gonna bless huh. I thank you huh, how you're gonna do it huh. I don't know how huh, but I just believe huh, I'm moving huh. don't know my address huh, but I'm moving huh. don't know the city huh, but I'm moving huh. don't know my phone number huh, but I'm moving huh. don't know my neighbors huh, but I'm moving huh. get out of here huh. got to go y'all huh. see you later huh. Holler back at you, but I come to tell you when I get there, I send you an invitation to my celebration party. Cause I'm on the move, I'm on the move, I'm on the move. Yeah, yeah. Bye bye, Carrie. See you later, Carrie. See you later. See you later. But I like to move it. Move it, move it. I can't stay still. I can't stay still. I can't stay still. Because God got something on the inside. I'm like Jeremiah said. I said I wasn't going to say nothing. But it's like fire. Shut up. Move it. Move it, 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 to the devil know it, move it, to the demons know it, move it, to your haters know it, move it, to your naysayers know it, move it, yeah, 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 and when I get there, when I get there, I'm going to reach back and take somebody else with me. I'm going to take somebody else with me. I'm going to take somebody else with me. I don't want to shout by myself. I don't want to dance by myself. I don't want to give him praise by myself. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it, move it. I double dare you on this morning. 
by faith just begin to move it move it move it move it yeah 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 Glory be to God. Woo. Woo. Hallelujah. I feel like moving, y'all. I feel like moving. 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 The doors of the church are open. There might be one. Don't have a church home. And you want to make my carry your church home. Come by a letter. Come as a candidate for baptism. Come on the Christian experience. We'll be glad to receive you here at Mount Calvary. Come be a part of this church that's growing and glowing in the Lord. You ought to start making announcements and start making moves. If you're not saved, don't know the Lord and the your sin, you can come. We'll lead you to the cross of Calvary. If you're watching virtually, just simply pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me for all my sins and my transgression. Lord, save me. I want to walk with you. I want to be your child. I want to be a part of your kingdom. I receive you as my Savior and my Redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. But he'll be there right on time. I tell you, he's an on time God. Yes, he is. Oh, you remember the children of Israel trapped at the Red Sea on the banks of the river. Lord, hand up and praise all over the house. He's an on-time God. Yes, he is. Do we have any first-time visit with us on this morning? This is your first time here at Calvary. Will you please stand? Amen. We don't recognize our first-time visitors. Will you please stand? Yes, sir. Just tell us your name and where you're from. Amen. Glad to have you. Amen. From Riverdale, Georgia. Anthony Hughes. Our brother in the back. Amen. From Maryland. Amen. We're glad to have you. Amen. Let's give God a praise for our visitors, our first time visitors here at Calvary. Amen. Remember, amen. Amen. Every good Christian ought to come by Calvary every now and then. Amen. So we're so glad to have all our other visitors with us on this morning from far and near. God bless you. Heaven keep you is our prayer. Don't let this be your last time coming to the church called Mount Calvary. Amen. What we really over here, we believe in rocking with it. Amen. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't caught it yet. So you got to move with it. We we ain't no we ain't no starch Baptist. We ain't no stiff Baptist. 
But we rock with it. He's on time. He's on time. On time. He's on time. He's on time. He's on time. He's on time. Oh yes, he's on time. 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 Oh yes, he's on time. Look at Joe. He's on time. How he waited. Told us about the man at the pool for 38 long years. But look at God, he was on time. He was on time. He was on time. Go ahead and rock with it. He's on time. 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 Oh, yes, he's on time. 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 Father God, we just thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for this service. We thank you for these people that are here in person, those that are watching online. We thank you for them giving up their tithe and their offering on today. Bless it, God. Return it back to them one hurtful in the mighty name of Bless those that had the desire to give, that they may have it on the next time. For the building of your kingdom, God, we pray that you continue to look on those on the prayer list, those that we know about, those that we don't. Have mercy right now, God. Go we can't go. And do what we can't do. Just heal, set free, and deliver. Look on the bereaved family. Strengthen them in the hour of loss. And God, we put them in all of your hand, your tender care. You got all power. You can do anything but fail. But give your name the praise and give your name the glory, God. Thank you for this service today. That We know that we don't have to make announcements. But we can start making moves. In the mighty name of Jesus. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest rule and abide with us henceforth, now and forever. And all God people say amen. And remember, you don't have any trouble. But all you need is faith in God. Remember, God bless you. And have a wonderful day in the Lord. Rock yourself on out of here this morning. Rock with Jesus. Don't forget we actually exit the sanctuary as expedition as possible. Praise team got a rehearsal. So please, we actually fellowship in the foyer on the outside. We got to leave out of here. He's on time. He's on time. My God. He's on time. He's on time. When you move, he's on time. Oh yes, he's on time. 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 Oh, he's in on time, God. Oh yes, he is. Oh, he's on time, God. Yes, he is. Oh, yeah. Be there right on time. I tell you, he's on, on time, God. He's at on time, God. He's at on time.